Come here. I'll show you how it works. All right. First, you turn the time circuits on. <laughs> this readout tells you where you're going. This one tells you where you are. This one tells you where you were. Back to the Future is novel because you go forwards in time and backwards in time. And believe it or not, going forwards in time is the easy part. <laughs> Our astronauts go forward in time by a fraction of a second every time they go into outer space. You realize that in outer space, like on the moon, time beats faster on the moon than it does on the Earth. So it is true that if you could race near the speed of light, time begins to slow down so that you rocket into the future. Of course, we cannot go near the speed of light, but one day we will, and so future travel is a definite possibility. But going back into the past, aha, that's the killer. And if you have enough energy, maybe in a DeLorean, you might be able to wrench this river of time and make it fork into two rivers. According to the laws of physics, according to Einstein's general theory of relativity, time is a river. It's a river that meanders and goes backwards and forwards and there's all these gyrations. And we now know it could have whirlpools, whirlpools in the river of time. The time continuum has been disrupted, creating this new temporal event sequence resulting in this alternate reality. English, Doc. Here, here, here. Let me, let me illustrate. When Doc Brown went to the blackboard, drew the timeline, the river of time, and then drew a fork in the river of time. Creating an alternate 1985. That's how we physicists view the possibility of time travel. You jump from one stream to another stream. So if you go backwards in time, you enter an alternate reality, a quantum alternate reality. And Back to the Future, to my knowledge, is the only film which gets it right.